All right, what's up? Today we're going to look at finding the inverse of a function. And this one we're finding the inverse of a square root function. So let's go ahead and get started. So to find the inverse, we're going to take the f of x and change it to y. So that's y equals square root x minus 3. And then you swap the x and y. And so we've got x equals the square root of y minus 3. And then we solve for y. All right, so to solve for y here, well, what do we need to do? Well, we need to square both sides. So after we square both sides, that's going to give us x squared equals y minus 3. And then we will need to add 3 to both sides. And that's going to give me y equals x squared plus 3. And then after we do that, we change the y to the f inverse symbol. And so f inverse is equal to x squared plus 3. But now, look at this. You may notice a problem here. Remember, in order for a function to have an inverse, it has to be one-to-one. -one. Well, this is a quadratic function. And if you, if you look at this, the graph of this looks like this. It fails the horizontal line test. See, if you draw a horizontal line, it intersects in more than one spot. So that means it's not one-to-one. -one. So that means this doesn't have an inverse. So what we have to do here is we have to put a restriction on the domain. Well, what you need to remember here is that our function f of x, okay, our function f of x, I want you to agree with this, that it has a domain and it has a range, right? This function has a domain and it has a range. Well, remember the inverse function, okay? So if we have a function here that has a domain and range, just remember the domain of this function is the range of this one, and the range is the domain of that one, okay? So, what we have to do with this is we have to restrict its domain, okay? So, remember the domain of this function is the range of this one. Well, what's the range of the original function? Well, remember, anytime you take the square root, it's going to always be positive or zero okay so the range of this the range is what zero to infinity because it's zero or positive so for the inverse okay well the range of this okay so the range is zero to infinity so that means the domain of this has to be zero to infinity. So we would put 4x greater than or equal to infinity. I'm sorry, greater than or equal to zero. And so I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.